Monica wondered what had happened over the past few months. She was trying her best, but she just couldn't put two and two together. She took small, hesitant steps through the path that led to a wooded area. During her walk, her thoughts wandered to what she was about to discover. Even though she knew who lived here, she still needed to see for herself whether everything she suspected was true. It had been six years since Monica Hill and Anthony Hill had gotten married. Their mutual friends introduced them and they hit it off immediately. Anthony proposed after just six months of dating. They had a fairy tale wedding. There was no expense spared by Anthony. Anthony paid for whatever Monica wanted. It was important to him that his bride was happy. During the first three months of the marriage, everything was fine. Anthony treated Monica to lavish dinners and getaways as a romantic gesture. After that, Monica noticed that her husband's behavior had changed significantly. Monica had to compete with his work and friends to see him as he became more distant. While at home, he was always busy doing chores in their backyard. She didn't want to appear desperate, but she just wanted to spend time with her husband. Having been married for months, she expected that they would be discussing children soon. It was Monica's wish, and she was saddened that Anthony didn't even mention it. He appeared more interested in what he was doing than in her, even though she had no idea what he was doing. Monica would no longer tolerate it. With candles and soft music, she prepared a romantic dinner. What else would help getting him back to her if this didn't work? In spite of Monica's plans, the dinner didn't turn out as she had hoped. Her concerns were dismissed by Anthony, who was distant. I'm busy, and I just don't think we should be worrying about having kids right now. I've got a lot on my plate at work, he told her. It was that night that Monica secretly wept herself to sleep. She felt alienated by her husband. She also began speculating that it wasn't only work that was keeping him occupied. Anthony was very active on social media, and as Monica scrolled through his various accounts, he could be seen partying up a storm with his friends. And all without her. He posed with work colleagues at parties that she wasn't even invited to as his plus one. In one of the photos, she could clearly see that he wasn't even wearing his wedding ring. What exactly was going on? Monica would soon find out the ugly truth. As weeks turned into months, Monica's suspicions grew. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong with her marriage. One evening, as Anthony rushed off to another work-related event, Monica decided to confide in her neighbor, Emma, who lived on the other side of their house. Emma had always been friendly and approachable, and Monica hoped she might have some insights. Pouring her heart out to Emma, Monica shared her fears and frustrations about her husband's distant behavior. Emma listened empathetically, her face showing a mix of sympathy and concern. Monica felt that she could discuss anything with Emma, but she knew something Monica didn't. I don't want to add to your worries, Monica, but I think you should know something, Emma finally said hesitatingly. I've seen Anthony walk through the back of the house a few times. I don't know where he goes. I've seen him going into that hidden path behind your house. I think it leads into the woods, but I'm not sure why he would go there so often. It's always when you're at work or otherwise occupied. Monica's pulse quickened. She knew he wasn't the outdoorsy type. Was he hiding something from her? Determined to uncover the truth, Monica couldn't ignore the nagging suspicion any longer. That night, she pretended to go to bed early, but waited patiently for Anthony to make his move. He was very restless during dinner, and when Monica asked him about it, he brushed it off. Hours passed, and Monica heard the front door quietly click shut. Anthony thought she was asleep, but she was wide awake, fueled by a mix of fear and anger. With her heart pounding in her chest, Monica opened the back door and followed the same hidden path she had seen Anthony take. She could even smell the remnants of his cologne as she quietly walked on the path. She could see his shadow still walking. Monica quickly bobbed her head up, just in time to see Anthony go into a house. She had forgotten that someone had lived so deeply in the wooded area. There, in the soft glow of the moon, she saw Anthony and a woman locked in an intimate embrace. And it was clear that this was what she had feared all along. She had stumbled upon a secret affair, one that had been unfolding right under her nose. Tears welled up in her eyes as she watched her husband betray her trust. She wanted to scream to confront them both, but she held herself back. She needed concrete evidence, undeniable proof of her husband's infidelity 
to confront him with. As Monica continued to watch in stunned silence, she noticed the woman's familiar features. It was their neighbor, Lisa. Lisa was recently widowed and Monica had completely forgotten to check in on her since her husband passed away. But it seemed like her husband Anthony was doing enough of that for the both of them. Monica quietly retreated. She needed time to think, to plan her next move. Confronting Anthony was inevitable, but she wanted to do it with undeniable evidence in her possession. Over the next few days, Monica became a detective in her own life. She meticulously collected evidence of Anthony's affair, text messages, photos, and even recorded conversations that proved his involvement with Lisa. Meanwhile, Monica's demeanor changed. She became distant and withdrawn, avoiding Anthony as much as possible. He sensed something was amiss, but couldn't put his finger on it. The tension between them was palpable. One evening, when Anthony was out at another supposed work event, Monica decided it was time to confront him. She had enough evidence to shatter his denials and lies. She called Lisa, asking her to meet at their house. When Lisa arrived, Monica presented her with the damning evidence of the affair. Lisa's face turned pale and she stammered, attempting to explain herself. It was a chaotic and emotional confrontation, filled with anger, hurt, and accusations. Soon after, Anthony returned home to find both women waiting for him. The confrontation that ensued was explosive. Monica, with tears streaming down her face, confronted her husband with the irrefutable evidence of his betrayal. Anthony couldn't deny the truth any longer. He confessed to the affair with Lisa, his voice filled with remorse and regret. He tried to explain how it had started innocently as he comforted their grieving neighbor, but it had spiraled into something more. Monica was devastated, feeling a mixture of anger and sadness. She realized that her fairy tale marriage had crumbled into a nightmare. She told Anthony that their relationship had come to an end. In the weeks that followed, Monica and Anthony went through a painful divorce process. It was emotionally taxing but Monica knew it was the right decision. She deserved better than a husband who had betrayed her trust so deeply. As the divorce was finalized, Monica began to rebuild her life. She reconnected with old friends, pursued her own interests, and found a renewed sense of self-worth. She realized that she deserved happiness and would no longer settle for anything less.